Hey guys, what's up, what's going on, and welcome back to the channel. I know I said last night I was going to be doing the fuel heater setup for the dually. Well, like always, plans have changed. Ran into a little hiccup with that, had to call BD Diesel. Got some parts coming, and that's gonna be at a later time, so. Tonight, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on with the second gen. Um, it started today yet too. So what I'm doing is I had, um, I have a crank sensor back here that I purchased. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And also, I didn't like where my brake controller was mounted at. It was right under, uh, or right in front of the OBD2. And, uh, you don't want to look at that. You won't look at me. Anyway, well, maybe. It was right. It was right over the OBD2, and it was just a pain in the butt to be able to try and plug in a scanner and keep that in the way. I had to actually take it off the bracket and get it plugged in. So I'm moving that over to this little compartment. If you guys have an automatic, um, this is a cup holder. If you have a standard transmission, this is just like a little cubby. So what I'm actually doing is. Uh, that hole was already in there, um, so we're just gonna make we made it just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I should have done it before I took it out of the truck, but uh, I thought I could do it, so that's why it looks so screwed up. Anyway, uh, that won't be seen. You can't see that because of the way it's mounted in a truck like that. So what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna mount my brake controller in there just like this, uh, so it's nice and hit out of the way. Um, I don't usually put anything in there to begin with. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm working on right now. I want to get the crank position sensor out though. It is behind the starter. So you do have to pull the starter to be able to take this out. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure and unhook your battery so you don't get any arcing because you are messing with the positive terminal on the bottom side. When you pull this, <coughs> excuse me. When you pull the starter out, there is one bolt that you have to access from the top on the engine compartment and everything else is underneath the truck to be able to take it apart and pull that crank position sensor out. So I'm gonna have to head under the truck right now. I do have the positive, I do have the battery unhooked. I do have uh, three of, or two of the three bolts out. I gotta take one more bolt out. Um, I do have the main cable unhooked, but the small signal wire that is under there I'm not able to get that off, so I'm going to attempt to just move the starter over there to the, I mean, and set it right on, like over by where the uh, engine mount is and get it out of my way, because I'm not able to get that broke free and uh, get that out of there. All it wants to do is spin, and versus having to pay to put a starter in it right now, I'm just gonna move it out of the way and call it good. Okay, so I crawl under here after I have everything started to take apart, and if you look right there, there's no crank position sensor. So after making a phone call, I found out in 2000, they did away with the crank position sensors. All right, unbeknownst to me, uh, I did not know this. I called a friend of mine, Matt Popeil at Popeil Diesel. I'll put a link in the description for his Facebook page. Um, he's probably the smartest person I know when it comes to working on really any platform of diesel engine, whether it be the Cummins, Duramax, Power Stroke. Uh, I gave him a call and he told me in 2000 they did away with the crank position sensor so my truck doesn't have it everything runs off the cam sensor and i have a a signal to the uh the tack inside the truck so i'm going to say that's good so what he actually suggested to do was He's ran into this a couple of times. Uh, you know, I was out there, him and I kind of diagnosed this together uh, as, as far as it being a bad VP. Uh, but he said with the truck starting up the way that it was, it can be a combination of maybe a couple of different things, whether it be an ECU issue or a wiring harness issue, or even he said what he's ran into with just in time vibration, right here is the slot for the uh, the full fuel pump sending unit or the fuel, the fuel pump relay uh, that and the horn is the same thing. He suggested to go in there and take and make sure we're getting good connection. So take and pry and push both of those all those tabs together and, and see what happens. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish up my brake controller install tonight, and then I'm actually going to take the truck. Uh, I forgot to bring home a scan tool. So I'm gonna take the truck, I'm gonna try and drive it to O'Reilly. That's the, place, the closest place that I have, and or maybe I'll just drive around the block some more. 
and get it up to temperature and uh, maybe I won't even drive it at all tonight. I just haven't decided yet. I'm still kind of gun shy. Um, so uh, let's let's finish up this brake controller and kind of see where thing or see where it takes us. <clears throat> what I have done here is I did go ahead and I had to cut a couple of 832 bolts off because this had I don't know they had it kind of jerry rigged in there. I didn't have any hardware. That's the only hardware I had. So I do have the bracket screwed in place. Uh, I showed you before, kind of a jacked up hole that I got in there, but it, it mounts in there like that, so you won't even see it. So I'm gonna take it in the truck, get the wire fish through there, and get everything taken care of that way. And kind of go from there. All right, so like I said before, right down here, right down here is where my OBD2 is, and that's where they had the brake controller. Uh, mounted so I want to move it up in here and get, and get it out of the way So that's where it prompted me to do what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna take that and feed that wire through there for the plug Screw this back in place. Two screws and this comes out. Kind of gingerly put that in place. Mine's busted there. It's cracked over here. It's broken over on the other side. So we've got to be, you know, be gentle with it. Plug in the controller, kind of fish some wire back up and through. Not bad. So, Kind of sticks out a little bit further than what I would like it to. Um, I may pull it back out and move it back, but right where that's at, there's actually like a little indicator or like a little light that uh, is there. So I don't know. It's not bad. I'd like it tucked back, at least back in there. But at least it's out of the way. I can get my OBD2 plugged in a little bit easier than what it is. So eh, it's okay. Might have to change that again. Don't know if the uh, the shifter would get in the way or not. So, anyway, guys, I know it's kind of a short video, but I do appreciate you watching. Um, I guess the saga continues as far as the second gen. Um, I guess you know it is cool that we did learn something that uh, these trucks don't have a, a crank position sensor. So, and what the funny thing is, I bought this from O'Reilly, and uh, it showed it having one. So. Who knows, I, I have no clue. So anyway guys, I do have one last thing I want to add, Hot Shot Secrets. They've changed my coupon code. You guys are now getting a 10% discount off your entire purchase and use uh, coupon code CM73 at checkout. It is always the first link in the description right below like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys wanna head over there, if you're ready for an oil change, fuel additives, gasoline additives, uh, trans fluid, diff fluid, antifreeze, uh, gun oil. If you need it, they pretty much have it. So like I said, CM73 now will get you guys a 10% discount. If you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.